Okay, practice continuing on, and uh, someone who has just practiced is uh, Finland's uh, Utalami. How are you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Happy to be here with Bennett's. And uh, how did your practice go? I've been here since last Friday, so I've had about five days of practice, and uh, it's new for me. I'm not used to getting getting used to places, but it's, it's awesome here. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Probably one thing that Finland isn't used to is actually finding their top women skiers towards the higher echelons in the sport uh, in jumping when they're more used to their men competitors going down a slope and actually putting some jumps out there. Has that been a hard adjustment for some of your supporters of the sport in Finland to make? Uh, not really. Well, we got a lot of awesome uh, ski jumpers and uh, that's a big sport so a lot of times they compare water ski jumping to that and that's an easier transition and and it's pretty exciting to be able to have a like a girls event that's actually really high level that i think people find that pretty interesting of course uh, women's snow ski jumping will make its uh, debut in sochi in the olympic games in just a few months time but uh, uh uh, besides that, uh, we're focusing on LA Night Jam 5, and uh, the two final questions I pose to you is this. Uh, what distance is it going to take to make it out of the initial round, and what distance is it going to take to win? Uh, for sure, you got to go more than 170, like 173, probably. That's to, to win. To make the final. <laughs> oh, 170 to make the final. I think so, yeah. There's awesome jumpers here, and it's a good side. That's what it needed. Well, not finals, maybe. Oh, yeah. Probably finals 165 at least, at least. And to make the podium, you gotta go. These girls are going far. You gotta go closer to 180. <laughs> That's what we wanna do. Absolutely, and we wish uh, Utalami the very best of luck.